welcome back to the channel. It's day six, it's May the 25th, and it's sandwich week, so we're gonna crack on. We've got the sixth sandwich to go for now. So yeah, it's been a it's been nearly a week now of sandwiches. Uh, I do apologize, but I wanted to get involved in this. I'm trying to keep the video short. So let's crack on and see what sandwich I've got today. So we've got the West Country Butter from Lidl. It's a deluxe one with Cornish sea salt. So for this, I'm gonna make a sourdough bread. So homemade sourdough for the next sandwich. So for this one, I'm gonna have homemade sourdough bread. Did two loaves with this recipe of mine. So there we go, let's crack on. Okay, so we're on to day number six and we've got, I've done a sourdough bread. You've just seen it, very quick clips. So this is a homemade sourdough bread. So I wanted something that I really like on this. So again, let's start off with the spreadable, well, not so spreadable butter. Um, actually, it's, it's actually working again now. It's, it's me with leaving it in the fridge too long, isn't it? And not pulling it out soon enough. So first thing is, let's get that butter in there. Right, first thing then, the first layer is, I put it on the wrong side to be honest, let's put it on this side, working cack handed there. Right, so I did say in another video, I really like onion on my sandwiches, raw onion, I like any onion cooked anyway. But on this, definitely some raw onion, some good old cheddar cheese. So straight away, we've got cheese and onion. Yeah, it's overhanging a little bit, but it's a rustic, butty sandwich with this sourdough. And then these one, this is where you can either use, let me show you, show you what I've got. I've got little cherry tomatoes. These are the strawberry ones. They're actually, they've got a name, a posh name. I'll find out for you. Um, and I like a cherry tomato. I like a salad tomato, which you can slice up. But this, just a little bit more chunky. So I'll just put a few on top of the cheese. They're called Strabina tomatoes, and these are from Lancashire. So Lancashire Strabina tomatoes. So I'm just gonna go like that. And then just to finish it, I'm gonna be using some pickle. Now I've gone for like a pickle lily, but you could go with like Branston, or you could go mustard, anything, or you could actually leave it off and not go for any any sort of sauce. But I do like a little bit of pickle as well on a sandwich. So I think that has got lots of different flavours, textures. It's gonna work. All I've got to do now is bring that together on top. And like I say, if you had the salad tomatoes or a vine tomato, the, you know, the bigger one, well, you could just slice them up. But I've got the, the big cherry not the big cherry, the little cherry, and it just gives a bit more texture, a bit more sweetness. And then let's go in, cut this in half, straight down the middle. And there we go. That is the cheese, onion, tomato, and a pickle sandwich. Oh, buddy. So the next one is a community choice. So I still don't know what that's gonna be. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. There we go. And I'll see you on the next one. Yeah, all I need are some better days, cause all I want. And I pray, I believe in the better days.